Okay guys, we are now back and as I said, we on on my part I'm not changing color here. But I do have to act like I'm going to, so I'm going to slip into that next space and pull that yarn through. All right. Now for row 8, you want to chain 4 and you're going to double crochet in the same chain 1 space. Okay? Now you're going to do a chain 1 you're going to double crochet in the next space and chain one. Nope, not that chain one. Okay, now you're going to do this a total of three times, okay? Well, you are actually going to chain one here. So chain one, double crochet in the next space. Okay, and now the third time, chain one, double crochet in the next space okay now you did that three times now you're going to chain one and then you're going to do a double crochet chain one and double crochet in this same stitch now we are resorting back to um, increasing again and this time you're going to have three singles instead of two okay so you're going to do this all the way up until the end so you want to do a chain one here and the next space gets a double crochet chain one next space gets a double crochet chain one next space double crochet and chain one okay so that's three now in the next one you're going to make that V stitch so it's a double crochet chain one and double crochet all in the same stitch okay turn my camera just a bit here doesn't seem like it's there with me as I try to tighten there we go all right so now you're gonna do a chain one here and then you're gonna do your three single double crochets so there's one double crochet chain one, two double crochet, chain one, and your third double crochet, chain one. Okay, now the next one is going to get the increase, so that's a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one. Okay, so back to our three. So the next space gets one double crochet, chain one. Next space, double crochet, chain one. And next space, double crochet, chain one. Okay, so now you see the pattern. It's going to go all the way around, and you're going to have three basic doubles and chain one in between, and then you're going to have your. Um, increase okay so complete that and I'll be right back with you with round nine okay guys I have now gone around for round eight you are going to slip stitch in that third chain as usual pull through and through now row nine is another color change if you want to do so if not then you're gonna treat it like you are and you're gonna go do a slip stitch right in the next uh, space and pull through and through then you're going to chain your four and you're going to do a double crochet in that same space. Okay. Then what you're going to do is chain one and then you're going to double crochet in the next space. Chain one and then you're going to do a double crochet, chain one nine times. Okay. So that was one. And the next one double crochet chain one so that's two three four five six seven eight and nine 
All right, and that should bring you to the next increase from the previous round. You're going to do double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. All right, and then you're going to repeat. You're going to do a chain one, and then you're going to start your nine. So double crochet, chain one, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, then you're going to do your increase which is double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the same stitch. Alright, and then what you're going to do at this um, at this point is you're going to repeat that until you get around. So chain one and then do your nine. So one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, here's your increase. So double crochet, chain one, and double crochet, chain one. All right, and now we should be going towards the last stretch, so you'll do your nine here. So double crochet, chain one, that's one, two, three, four, that's five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, increase here. So it's double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Alright, and we will have to do that one more time, so chain one and do it nine more times. Two, three, four. five, six, seven, eight, and that should bring you to the last one, and that will be nine. Okay, now you'll join into that third stitch, pull through and through. Now that is round nine. Okay, now round ten, Again, if you do want to do a color change here, that's totally, totally up to you. Um, I think I will do the color change this time. I don't want to do it as sporadic as the pattern says, and of course, you know, that's at your discretion. You don't have to. It's to totally up to you when you want to do the color change. All right. So I'm going to make my slip knot. I'm going to go slip into this next stitch here, put my new color on, pull that through and through. Now I'm going to cut my blue and tie those together in the back. Okay. 
Okay. So now we are up to row 10. All right, so now you want to do your chain four. Okay. And you're going to double crochet in the same space. All right. Now you're going to chain one and double crochet in the next space four times. Okay. So you'll double crochet in this space. That's once. So you'll chain one in the next space, double crochet chain one, that's twice, next space, double crochet, chain one, that's three, in the next space, double crochet, chain one, that's four. All right, so then you're going to do your, okay, you're going to do your um, increase in this next stitch, so double crochet, chain one, and double crochet, chain one, okay? And you're going to do this process all the way around. So you will do in the next four spaces, you'll do a double crochet, chain one. So that's two, three, and four. And then you will make your increase right there okay so do that finish that up and I'll meet you up alright guys I have made it all the way around we are at the end of row 10 so now if you want to change back to your um, base color which I'm going to so take your yarn and um, cut that off grab your beginning yarn and do like we've done and put this back together so you're going to join in the top of that chain three and actually I meant to slip through with that color alright now you're just going to do like we did before put this new color on if I can get it to work this morning there we go good probability now and you're just going to pull that through and through okay now we will get here and tie the back so we have that security and we will go back and fix all of these um, here in just a bit so now you're working with your original color again got so many strands down here alright so now round 11 you're just going to repeat round 6 so what that is is you have slipped into this next section like you were going to uh, do your change color you're going to do um, your chain four okay and then you're going to double crochet in the next chain one space okay and then you're going to chain one and you're just going to repeat that all the way around so it's a double crochet chain one double crochet chain one and you're going to do that in every gap around not stitch but your gaps make sure to do that chain one it's very important so once you get done with row 11 um, I'll meet you back up for row 12 okay we are back we have done round 11 which was the same thing as row 6 now it says do not fasten off here unlike what row 6 says it says fasten off but it does have in the pattern for row 11 do not fasten off now with the color you're using after you've joined you will do a chain one and then you're going to single crochet in each double crochet and chain one around okay so we're already in the top of this one you're going to hit this uh, single crochet there for a chain one I mean a single crochet and then you're going to do the next double crochet you're going to put a single crochet there and then you're going to go into the next chain and you're just going to do that um, all the way around okay and it is going to double your stitch count so um, when you get all the way to the end you should have 132 single crochet okay and then it wants you to fasten off 
I'm assuming I haven't read down yet that it's for color change again uh, if you want to wait on me before you get to that point that's fine and those of you that are working right with me um, I'm going to finish this row and I'm just going to do a single crochet uh, in each double crochet and each uh, chain one that we did on this previous row which was round 11 so go ahead and finish this row up and I will be back with you as soon as I've got that complete alright guys I'm back I've gone all the way around um, I am getting ready to join but um, as we do that we need to do our color change here and because we're getting close to uh, the um, the brim of the hat I do want mine to have more oops, of the um, different colored trim so I'm just gonna pull that new color through and through and tie it off okay and now we're going to be working in this new color for round 13 so now what we're going to do is for round 13 you're just going to do a single crochet here and then you're going to skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next 11 so we're going to skip this one and then you're going to single crochet in the next 11 so now we're kind of decreasing so there's uh, well come on hook okay so there was one two three four five six let me grab my yarn here seven eight nine ten and eleven zoom in a bit for you okay then you're going to repeat that until the end so then you're going to skip this next one and do your eleven so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven all right skip this next stitch and do your eleven one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven all right so just complete that all the way around and um, just do an eleven then skipping one eleven and skipping one and I'll meet you up all right guys I am down to my last eleven stitches so you're gonna skip this next one and you should only have ten left so instead of doing eleven single crochet you will do ten so there's two three four five six seven eight nine and the last one is ten okay so that'll leave you with 121 stitches and you're going to join with a slip stitch into this first chain here so pull that together and together now row 14 you're going to do a chain one and you can stay with this color if you want it does not say color change but it's up to you um, row 14 you are going to chain one and in the same stitch as the joining you're going to single crochet in the next four stitches so do a single crochet here and then you're going to do a single crochet in the next four so one two three and four you're going to skip the next stitch and you're going to single crochet in the next ten so one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now you're going to repeat that up into the last six stitches, okay? So again, you're going to skip the next one and you're going to do ten stitches. So skip that one and do ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and then you're going to skip another one and do another ten, and I'll meet you at the end of this row. All right, guys, I am down to my last six stitches, and it says to skip the next one and do five single crochet in the last five. That's three, four, and five. Okay, so now you should be down to a hundred and ten. So let's join into that first stitch oh that's not it first stitch here and pull through now round 15 you are going to do a chain one and you're going to single crochet in that same chain okay and you are going to skip the next single crochet or next stitch excuse me um, single crochet in the next nine so we're just counting down now. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay? And then you're just going to repeat that as well. So you're going to skip the next stitch and then you're going to count nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so skip the next one, do nine, and do that until you're at the end of the row. Alright, you should have eight stitches left. So now what you're going to do is single crochet, or I'm sorry, you're going to skip the next stitch and single crochet in the last eight. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so now you should have 99 stitches. Now, what you want to do is join and pull through and through just like that. And now we're going to move on to row 16. Now you can change your color here if you would like. I think I will do that just so that I don't run out of my other color. So I'm going to change back to my base color. Okay. And now what you need to do is uh, in any single crochet, okay, to join it, single crochet in any stitch, Okay, so we're going to, actually I'm going to pull that back out and I'm just going to join it there and put my new color in. I like that better. So where you slip stitched at, join that new color. Okay, just makes it easier so you don't lose any of your stitches. Alright, and then you want to tie those together and make them nice and snug. And sometimes I allow myself more yarn than needed. It's never a bad thing. Let me get my yarn pulled out here. And as you can tell, let me back myself up here. You can tell that you're starting to get um, closure on this. And it's closing up just a little bit at a time. And that's what you want it to do. Um, it's just going to keep drawing up until we get to the end of the pattern. That way it can give you a great fit. All right, so now row 16, you are going to, let's do a chain one and a single crochet in that same stitch. Oh, my stitch there is really tight, huh? Okay. Now, you're going to do single crochet in the next four. So one, and I'm working over that stitch there, 
two, three, and four. All right, you're going to skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next eight. So skip that one and you're going to count to eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you're going to repeat that up into the last four stitches okay so at the end of this row you should have 88 stitches so go ahead and do that so you'll skip the next one and then you will do eight single crochet all right I am down to four stitches you're going to skip one and do the last three in single crochet okay so again that will leave you with 88 stitches and you're going to join in the first one just like we've been doing all right, now row 17, you're going to chain one, and you're going to do a single crochet in that same stitch. And this time you're going to skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next seven. So one, and I did skip, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Skip the next one. And do seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And just do that around and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, now you should have seven stitches left. You're going to skip the next one and you're going to do your last six single crochet. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so that should leave you with 77 stitches. So let's join here. And now row 18, you're going to do a chain one and a single crochet in that same stitch. Okay, and then you're going to uh, single crochet in the next two and then skip the next one. Okay, so one, two. You're going to skip the next one and single crochet in the next six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You're going to skip the next and do six more. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so skip one and then single crochet six all the way to the end. Okay, we're down to four stitches. You're going to uh, skip the next one and single crochet in the last three. So one, two, and three. Okay, now you're going to join and that will leave you with 66 stitches total. Okay, now you see it's getting smaller and smaller as we go. And we're almost done, so let's do row 19 now. Um, you can change color here if you want, but I'm, not, I'm going to finish mine out in this color. So if you're going to change color, you do it as we always do it. Um, if you're not, we're going to do a single crochet. And we're going, we're going to, uh, well, actually, we're not going to do a single crochet. Well, yeah, we'll do a single crochet, and then in the next stitch is where you would normally change your color. Okay? I can get mine through there. So you would change your color there. Now you're going to skip your next stitch and single crochet in the next five. Okay? So, one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so you're gonna skip and then you're going to do five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you'll skip. Now, um, rows 20 and 21, I'll go ahead and tell you, you're gonna chain one and then you're going to do a single crochet round and then 
uh, row 21 is the same. You chain one, do a single crochet round. So um, if you want to go ahead and do that, I will complete mine as well. And then the next uh, clip that I will do will be a finished product. So just finish this row. You'll join and then you'll chain one and then you're going to do two rounds of single crochet and then you'll finish off and weave in all your ends and I'm going to do the same and then I will come back and let you see the finished product so again you're going to skip one and then you're going to do five single crochet in a row so there's two three four and five so once you're done with this row do sing two single rows of crochet and you'll be finished and I'll be right back with you Alright guys, here's my finished product. I have it on my mannequin head. And you see how beautiful that it comes out. And it's nice and slouchy, so if you have even longer hair, it works out just fine. And then you have the band at the top. And I'm happy with the color changes that I did in this one. And it's complete. So, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial for this beautiful uh, slouch beret. And until next time, happy hooking.